Hi dear friends, this is Tatiana and oh my god, Bobo VR released a new jacked up version of the Halo strap for Oculus Quest 2. I ordered it from their store on AliExpress, but now they are also available on Amazon in selected countries. And I had to wait for a while to get it, but it's finally here. As you may know, the original Halo strap is arguably the most comfortable strap for Quest 2, because it sits on top of your head and doesn't press the goggles to your face like the rest of the straps. I personally find it very comfortable, especially after I have tested it in my video with active games, and it is definitely my to-go strap, but there is always room for improvement. So today I'm so excited to review Bobo VR M2 Halo strap and compare it to its previous iteration. This is not a sponsored product and I bought this head strap myself and all the opinions in this video will be my own. There is also a giveaway announcement coming up, so make sure to watch this video till the end. Remember to give this video a like and subscribe to Disco VR for more VR goodness and if you're ready, let's go! Bobo VR M2 is definitely a very sleek model that looks more official and gives less of a DIY feel than I got from the original Halo strap. It even came in a box that imitated the packaging of the official Oculus products, and it's definitely not a bad thing. I like the black accents in the head strap design that make it stand out visually compared to the white strap. Yes, I definitely like the design choices they've made in this head strap, starting with the black elements, the nice looking silver discs at the base of the adapters and ending with these protruding patterns parts on the top. I assume that they were added to further secure the position of the head strap without the need to add the velcro strap, even though they did leave the loop at the back in case you want to use it. Back panel is flexible enough to help you find the best position for your head and so are the black adapters on the sides. I really like what I'm seeing so far, but now let's compare it to the design of the original Halo strap. The first thing that I've noticed is the size of the back padding. It's massive compared to the original Halo padding. They chose to give the larger surface of the padding on the sides of the head, probably to accommodate for various differences in head sizes. And it's not that I find the padding in the original Halo strap uncomfortable, but this just looks so impressive and it even feels a little bit thicker than the original Halo padding. Basically, the more soft padding you have, the better it is for comfort. This black disc looks like the cup in the official Elite strap, but it is not elastic, it's just a solid plastic piece, so they decided to just add extra padding instead of making it elastic, which I accept. I've also noticed that the front part of the original Halo strap is slightly wider than it is in the new Bobo VR strap. However, the shape and softness of the padding seem to be exactly the same, so I'm not sure if the small differences in sizes will matter for comfort. One thing I didn't like in the original Halo strap is these side adapters. They look super flimsy with this strange metal needle, and the whole thing looks cheap, almost 3D printed and not very reliable. There is a very stark contrast in the construction of the M2 Halo strap mounts. They look beautifully made. The mechanism is stiff, but not too stiff, and these silver discs is just such an elegant addition. Not only does it look prettier, but also more reliable and of higher quality. Another thing that I like is the shape of this black slider that takes the shape of the base of your Quest 2 arms, and it shows you exactly how far this strap should go. I've had some trouble at first understanding how far I should slide the adapters from the original Halo strap because of their weird shape, and on top of that, sliding them on was extremely difficult. At least in my case, the first couple of times I put it on, it took so much force to slide them, I even managed to cut myself in the process. On the other hand, when I installed this Bobo VR head strap, the slides were surprisingly easy to slide on the arms of the Quest, or at least when I compare it to my experience sliding in on, on the original Halo strap. So you shouldn't have any difficulty with the installation. One little thing that I was extremely excited about at first when I saw this photo on AliExpress is that it looked like the sides of the mounts would have a spring or some kind of an adapter to automatically regulate the distance of the goggles to your face, like in the PlayStation VR headset, which I think is very convenient. But unfortunately, once again, that did not happen. And all this picture shows is that this part slides back and forth on the arms of the Quest. But it 
it doesn't have this automatic adjustment. Bummer. Moving on, there is one thing that I don't like in this new Halo strap. Unlike in the original Halo strap, where this wheel is completely out and you can rotate it from any position, uh, the wheel on this new strap is partially hidden and the only comfortable way for you to rotate it is by grabbing it exactly from the top and the bottom. And I assume that they tried to imitate the official Elite Strap design in this, but the surface that you can grab on the Elite Strap is considerably larger than the surface on this M2 strap. And since we mostly use this gear without looking at it, it might be just a little bit more difficult to grab it right to rotate it and you will only be able to rotate it a little bit at a time unless you have super thin fingers. I know it's a small thing but I just don't understand why they had to change it and what was wrong about the full circle wheel on the original Halo. Anyway it's not a big deal and it's not a deal breaker for me but more of a something that confuses me. And finally, the most significant difference among these two Halo straps are these additional padded plastic elements on the top coming out like an extension of the mount. From what I can tell, it looks like the additional reinforcement on top of the head to secure it even better without the need for the Velcro strap across your head. I love this idea. I gotta tell you, if you have long hair like me and you like playing VR with a ponytail, this is an ideal setting for you. Although I've heard that that people with short hair complain about the velcro strap on the top as well saying that it parts their hair in a very weird way so let's hope that these two flaps will solve the issue and not create a new kind of problem of making a mini mohawk i've also noticed that at least in the model that i got one of these flaps is positioned noticeably lower than the other and to jump a little bit ahead yes i can feel it on my head even if I try to bend it up a little bit it sort of comes back and I haven't tested it long enough to tell you the long-term effect but it is something to keep in mind I don't know if all bubble VRM2 models are structured that way or maybe I just got a slightly crooked version so if you already have yours let me know if your looks the same or if you have them on the same level and now the moment of truth actually putting it on. I'll try it on first and then I'll try to play a couple of active games to see how it feels after about 20 minutes of the gameplay. Let's go! So right after I put this head strap on, I've noticed something concerning. If I put these sliders all the way to the base of the quest arms, the front padding of the strap goes behind the facial interface and there is no way to raise it because it is blocked by the arms of the quest. So when I wear the head strap like this, the padding on the top is only barely touches my forehead. Now, what does it mean for comfort? To be honest, I'm not sure because the head strap still feels extremely comfortable. With the many ways you can adjust the angle at the back and at the front, even though I don't feel the whole surface of the top padding, I still feel like my Quest 2 is secured in my head and my view is focused on the sweet spot without shifting. If you're still bothered by the fact that the front padding does not fully touch your head or if it's not comfortable to you because of it, then here's what you can do. You will need to pull the side adapters slightly back. You'll have to figure out for yourself how much, but it's quite possible that they are not supposed to be pulled all the way down, at least based on their picture. So if you pull them back, there will be more room for your front padding to sit on your head better, and you can play with the angle of your goggles to make sure that they don't have any gaps. A quick tip, some people say that their halo strap fits most comfortably when they put this back padding at the very bottom of their head. For me, this is not working because in this case, the front of the quest becomes too heavy and falls down, so you will need a velcro strap to secure it. On the other hand, you can position the back padding directly on the back of your head, pretty much on the same level as your quest, and it will be secured even without the velcro strap. All this is strictly based on the shape of your head and your personal preferences. All I can say is that this head strap provides all kinds of options for you to play around and figure out the best positioning for you. 
Structurally, it is still very similar to the original Halo strap, with its rotating back, front, and the ability to slide it closer or further based on the shape of your face. Finally, I gave the Bobo VRM2 Halo strap a test run by playing some active games with it for about 20 minutes. And it works like a charm! My testing time flew without me even noticing that I've already been playing for so long, as I was really comfortable and I could just focus on the game without thinking of adjusting or readjusting my head strap. The top padding flaps didn't really bother me, even though, as I've shown earlier, one of them was a little bit higher than the other, that did not cause any noticeable pressure that would affect the quality of my VR gaming experience. Overall, this is another win for a Halo type head straps. I would say that the improvement in terms of the comfort is not dramatic, because even the original version of the Halo strap was perfectly fine for me. But the extra padding added to this improved Halo strap does make it feel quite a bit more comfortable. And of course, the whole set has a much more solid looking construction with a more impressive and elegant design. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. and I I would also like to take this opportunity to thank you all for your views, likes, comments, and subscriptions. We are unbelievably close to hitting 10,000 subscribers within the channel's first year, and I'm so grateful for all the support that Disco VR is receiving. Since I think that this Halo strap is pretty great, I've decided to give it away to one lucky winner. To enter the giveaway, please make sure that you are subscribed, head to my Discord, and go to the channel called Ongoing Giveaways by June 1st. And say hi while you're there on my Discord. I hang out there pretty often. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. That's it for today. Stay safe and as always, happy gaming.